The Massacre at El Mozot by Mark Danner is a haunting and powerful piece of investigative journalism that delves into one of the most brutal episodes of the Salvadoran Civil War. Through meticulous research, eyewitness accounts, and vivid storytelling, Danner paints a chilling portrait of the massacre that took place in the small village of El Mozot in December 1981. In this literary analysis, we will explore the key themes, narrative techniques, and the emotional impact of Danner's narrative. One of the central themes of Danner's work is the brutality of war and its impact on innocent civilians. Through detailed descriptions and harrowing testimonies, he brings to life the horrors faced by the people of El Mozot. Danner's narrative conveys the senseless violence and the dehumanization of the villagers at the hands of the Salvadoran military. The juxtaposition of ordinary life and unimaginable cruelty serves to highlight the stark contrast between the innocence of the villagers and the brutality of the war. Danner employs a nonlinear narrative structure, weaving together multiple perspectives and timelines to create a mosaic of the massacre. This narrative technique allows him to build suspense and engage the reader emotionally. He switches between the personal stories of the victims and the broader political context of the Salvadoran Civil War. This blend of micro and macro perspectives gives the reader a comprehensive understanding of the events leading up to the massacre and its devastating aftermath. The use of eyewitness accounts is a powerful tool in Danner's narrative. He presents the testimonies of survivors and villagers who lived through the massacre, allowing their voices to bear witness to the atrocities committed. These first-hand accounts provide a human face to the tragedy and make it impossible for the reader to remain detached. Danner's choice to include these testimonies serves to emphasize the authenticity and credibility of his narrative. Another significant element of Danner's narrative is the role of denial and cover-up by both the Salvadoran government and the United States. He meticulously documents the efforts made by those in power to downplay and dismiss the massacre. Through official statements, falsified reports, and diplomatic maneuvering, the true extent of the tragedy is obscured. This theme of denial and impunity adds a layer of complexity to the narrative, raising questions about accountability and justice. Danner's prose is both vivid and evocative. His descriptions of the landscape, the people, and the events are rich in detail, immersing the reader in the world of El Mozot. This descriptive prowess serves to heighten the emotional impact of the narrative, making the reader feel the anguish, fear, and despair of the villagers. Danner's writing style is not just informative but also deeply empathetic, capturing the human suffering at the heart of the story. The author also explores the role of memory and remembrance in the aftermath of the massacre. He highlights the efforts of survivors and activists to ensure that the events of El Mozot are not forgotten. The act of bearing witness and seeking justice becomes a form of resistance against the forces of denial and impunity. Danner's narrative underscores the importance of remembering and acknowledging the past as a means of healing and preventing such atrocities in the future. In conclusion, The Massacre at El Mozot by Mark Danner is a powerful and emotionally charged work of literary journalism that sheds light on a dark chapter in history. Through its themes of brutality, denial, and memory, the narrative exposes the human cost of war and the struggle for justice. Danner's narrative techniques, including nonlinear storytelling and eyewitness testimonies, enhance the impact of the story and make it a compelling and unforgettable account of a tragic event. This work serves as a stark reminder of the importance of bearing witness to the past and holding those responsible for atrocities accountable.